Um, one of the things that I do want to come back to when we talked about drug pricing is the idea of negotiation. Um, I think it's important, negotiation works really well. We've seen that when there's competition in the marketplace, it works really well. I think at the end of the day though, patients have to be empowered to make decisions about their care and what and they need to be in the driver's seat. I think turning over negotiation to the government doesn't work well because then it's the government making decisions about what drugs are going to be on that formulary. You just referenced your patient. Well, that drug was not on the formulary, and so it's not it's Well, not the UK covered. does it with the NICE system, right? They look at cost effectiveness and they- But that's the government making all the decisions. Right. I think when you have in the Part D program where we have you know, many uh, providers that are, we're, we're essentially have open competition, and so patients can pick the plan that works best for them, and so they can look at the formulary and decide what they want to pick. I think that works better than the government making this decision for everybody about what drugs we're going to get. In the UK, their cancer outcomes are very poor as compared to the United States because we have more availability of drugs. So I think it's just something we need to think about that we need to put patients in control of their care, not the government. So your and this is coming from a government bureaucrat. <laughs> Damn government. <laughs> Speaking of which, your transition from Indiana, where you got a lot done, to the federal government. What is that like? Well, in Indiana, I always say, you know, I could make three or four phone calls and we could get stuff done. People would come together on a bipartisan basis and there was a goal. Um, in DC, it's an extraordinarily bureaucratic process. I always say, you know, it's a darn near miracle when we get a regulation out the door. I mean, it takes the government for even small and routine changes, just a, a long period of time. There's so much bureaucracy. Um, and obviously, there's, there's a, a lot of politics as well, and special interest groups. This is why I'm always very concerned um, that we're hearing conversations about more government, more Medicare for all. I think those kinds of things are very scary to me because we see the day-to-day -day problems with the government-run system. You know, we have a very talented team at CMS, and we can see sometimes what needs to get done, but we can't do that because some of the antiquated laws and special interest groups you know, don't want to make those changes. I think we just talked about drug pricing and the Part B program um, is a great example of that. Um, the government says we're going to pay the average sales price. So a lot of the problems that we have in healthcare are rooted in government policy. So I think for my view is that we move to a more competitive environment. The government's role is to create competition and to make sure that patients are protected. What do you think about that, Bernard? Is the government's role to create competition? Yeah, no, I think uh, create the competition uh, as much as possible, make sure that we're all on a level playing field, that we're playing. Uh, the government has a regulatory role uh, to protect the interests of the consumer, to make sure that there are ground rules around how we are to compete and in the best interest of uh, the consumer. Um, and, you know, and a competitive environment will create better results. And I think that that's the way to go. I think that the idea of, you know, Medicare for all, um, I would argue that we have enough in the toolkit right now. We need to continue to refine it and to change it and to move it forward. Um, I would say in that regard, with my own experience with the Affordable Care Act, um, you know, if you end up with a partisan selected anything at this point for the health system, you know, we spent a lot of money preparing for and taking care of ACA exchange patients, and we're proud of that. Um, it needs to continue to be changed so it can work even better and there's resistance and so i'm not playing any politics here it's just that we're in the middle trying to take care of patients